This tutorial is meant to show how uh, TVO's Mathify application works and what it's supposed to, to do for students. So first of all, I'm going to start with the toolbar at the, the bottom of the uh, whiteboard, this, this being the whiteboard. You'll see this toolbar. It has a lot of uh, icons that you are probably very familiar with, like uh, undo and redo. Uh, this one here clears everything on the page. You always get a, a little prompt to say, are you sure? So if you want to clear everything, you just, of course say yes. If you don't, then you say no. Uh, this is the pencil tool that we use a lot. Uh, you can uh, you can write in five different colors. There's only four illustrated here, but black is another color you can use as well. Uh, the eraser tool can be used to erase like individual things. So for example, if I want to erase that, I click on the uh, see it kind of looks like that, and you can just click on it. Or oh, I did not mean to do that. So, um, yeah, see, my image takes up this whole space here. So if I wanted to just erase that, I move it outside the image here, and I could click on my eraser tool and just erase that. So, um, uh, this one here is that. So I've got the pencil tool illustrated right now. If I click on the hand or selection tool, it looks like this. So you'll see a little hand or you see I could actually move this whole image right now. That's what it looks like you're actually going to uh, move something. The uh, text box tool looks like this. If you click the text box, you'll get you know, something like this. The deeper you make it, the bigger and longer, the more text that's going to be here. So I could type some text in here. If I just click on the whiteboard, uh, for example, with the selection tool, then that's gone. There's a bunch of shapes. Um, those are all the, the shapes that you can use. So there's lots of them and you can stretch them. For example, if you want to make a, a rectangle, it's always a square first. So I can move it. And if you want to make a rectangle, you can stretch it, you know, make it narrower, that kind of thing. So that's the idea. Uh, why don't we get rid of that? Okay, so uh, grids, um, there are, uh, well, this actually isn't a grid, but there's, uh, it's under the grids menu. Uh, if you want to make a number line, uh, there's a, a finer grid and a bigger grid. Um, if you want to upload an image, that's a very uh, common thing to do, especially if you have a, a math question that, uh, you know, let's say you've already done all the work and you want to just the tutor to check to see if it's right or not, or if you have a question of your textbook, you take a picture of it with your with your camera, or your phone, and upload the image. Of course, you need to be able to save it somewhere and uh, then upload that image. Um, this is uh, accesses my stuff, so when I click on this, um, I'll see uh, my stuff, the uh, save whiteboards. So that kind of thing. Uh, you can save whiteboards as well, and there's a glossary here too. So if I click on this, uh, I'll get into the glossary. You can search or, you know, go into, um, for example, my words in the S's. If I click on that, then you can look that way as well. If you click on the whiteboard, then that's all gone. So those are all the tools that you can use. If we go into the second, and uh, now normally when you start, there's only one tab open. I've, you can make up to five, so uh, you can, you know, there's different spaces you can work on. That's the second tab. Uh, this one talks about uh, audio. Uh, you can use audio. Uh, browser audio is if you have a mic on your device or a plug-in mic, like a USB mic. Uh, you can use uh, a, a phone, um, uh, a landline phone or a cell phone. No long distance charges apply. Uh, the other person does not get to see your phone number if you're concerned about that because uh, we uh, Mathify uses a, a service that uh, once I type in my phone number and the student as well uh, it actually calls both people so you never get to see the other person's phone number. Uh, you can use uh, one-way audio uh, so if you want to allow the tutor to speak but you want to just chat if you didn't want to talk um, uh, chat by chat, I mean text chat. Uh, you could allow the audio and just mute your mic. And then uh, no, the no audio is when you use the chat box. I'll talk about that on, a, on a, another slide, but you'll see the chat open up over here. Uh, and I'll talk about this one too. Uh, it's a good idea to try to get your question ready beforehand, but I'll talk about that more on, I think it's the fourth um, whiteboard. Um, so at the top here, when you're when you're online, you can um, uh, select, choose a tutor uh, when tutors are available. Uh, I can't show you that on my screen now because I'm 
I'm on as a tutor, not as a student. So if you click in here, uh, you can filter, you can actually search for a specific tutor or specify a list of favorite tutors. You can search by grades. So you click on this, you'll see uh, um, a drop down arrow come down. You can select uh, grade 6, 7, 8, 9, or 10. Um, and this is what it looks like. So um, uh, if you see this connect here, uh, that tells you that you can connect with that tutor and there's one person ahead of you. Um, so the line isn't too long there right now. Um, the green check mark, of course, as well, tells you the tutor is available and online. Uh, this one's not online. See the little X here. So this is next online at 11 a.m. Uh, a couple of notes. You don't have to select the first tutor, so you don't need to take this first one right away. You can scroll down to see if there's a shorter line somewhere. And if you if you get in a line for a tutor, but then you want to go and see if there's another tutor with a shorter line, uh, you can uh, click on End Request, and uh, the tutor will get a message about that, and then they'll know not to help you um, when your term comes up when you're in the first line. Uh, so we realize the students can't always do this, but uh, one thing students can do to make the session start quicker is to have your question available before you connect with the tutor. See, this is actually your workspace here, and you're, when you select uh, connect to a tutor, you're inviting them into your work, workspace, and so that's why it's actually your whiteboard. So uh, you can have the question poted, uh, posted. Sorry, uh, it can be handwritten. You can type things in text boxes. You can upload images uh, using the uh, uh, the upload image tool here. And especially if you, uh, as I mentioned earlier, if you already have a question completed or part of it completed, upload that, and then you can you know you can get the teacher tutor to uh, to check what you've done already, and then continue the question from there. Uh, last. Um, uh, whiteboard here. Um, uh, something that happens, a technical issue, is sometimes the page won't load properly and the session will time out. And that can happen right away within the first minute, or it could be several minutes in the session. It uh, Probably most often it, it happens right at the beginning. So on the left here is what it looks like when the uh, whiteboard loads proper. You'll see the chat here, but if you if you um, have a whiteboard load and there's no chat here, that means that the session is going to time out. So it'd be best to just click on end session right away and get back in line. So so that's a little bit about uh, how uh, Mathify works and um, all the tools and everything. Uh, and Mathify is meant to be a tool to help students with math, but we're not. We're not here to like teach students whole lessons on topics. We're here to help them with math questions that they're having some difficulty with. So it's it's best that you come to a Mathify session with a question ready. Uh, and the more specific it is, the better the tutor is going to be able to help you and start helping you more quickly. And that's the end of the tutorial.